We are going to see in this video how to use Flipper Zero to chat around. So either with a standalone Flipper Zero or with a computer you will see how we are going to use it to enable us to chat over like the sub gigahertz functionality. For the first scenario you probably seen already this video in my playlist otherwise there is a link here to that video. Here I had only one Flipper Zero and I used the Flipper Zero connected to my computer using the lab.flipper.net command line interface. So using this command line interface back then it was the only way to access to the sub gigahertz chatting functionality. So you run the web browser you go to lab.flipper.net, then you type the command sub gigahertz space chat space the frequency in hertz and then you could like start chatting. So in order to have like a kind of interactive chat or even like let's say a monologue, I use a hack RF on the right side of the screen and I capture everything ongoing on the frequency I have decided. So it was back then 433 megahertz. For that on I did a replay attack. So I captured the raw signal and I replied it. So I have seen like all the message that I was sending from the flipper zero. So here we're not going to cover this anymore because like either you have let's say several flipper zero or we are going to see in the last scenario there is a way to even chat two flipper zero owner without having one. So stay tuned. The second scenario maybe you have not seen it as well as for the first one. You could click on the link here and watch this video. So here I have introduced like the CLI GUI bridge. So instead of let's say you have like two flipper zero, you need also to have like two laptop, you only have one flipper zero and one flipper zero from a friend which is like using his laptop, okay, with the lab.flipper.net um, um, web interface, let's say, okay. So here with the Flipper Zero from the right side, you have the CLI application which allow you to type the command directly on your Flipper Zero. So that on, you will have a standalone device here, the Flipper Zero that allow you to chat. And that's really handy. So you do not need to have all the setup from the left side here which is the Flipper Zero, the USB-C cable, and also the computer. So probably this could be, let's say, implemented with like the um, smartphone application, who knows, but right now here, it could be the solution if you have two Flipper Zero that want to discuss between each other without any other like device in between. But we are going to see if you do not have a second Flipper Zero, what could you do to still be part of a party and discuss and chat around, okay? Let's deep dive in today's video. So for the third scenario, we are going to see how to still join a party of different Flipper heterogeneous uh, setup standalone using the CLI GUI bridge or someone else using a Flipper Zero with the CLI on its laptop. You don't have a Flipper Zero. I know it's hard to buy one nowadays. It's sold out everywhere, correct? So thanks to Brian, you could set up a bridge using a ESP32 
and a WC1101 module. The same indeed that is used inside the Flipper Zero and also for the external antenna module. Okay, here is a GitHub from Brian's project, the subgigas chart for the ESP32. So beside um, the links for like both ESP32 and the WLC1101 module, Brian have like sum up all the different links to libraries and to additional uh, plugin, especially like the fat FS uh, image that I was struggling and I also open like already in a case some issue and thanks again Brian for helping me. So here especially if you are using Windows check my description here I have added a link that is explaining how to install this module on Windows. So I was really struggling and yeah nice tutorial that helped me out. Besides this Brian did excellent work summarizing everything uh, from the cabling and he also like uh, took a picture of his setup so it is really nice because he made a really standalone like uh, solution as you can see here inside an enclosure box and you could see the frequency that he used and how many like um, users are connected to its uh, bridge so thanks to this uh, little LCD screen. I didn't have one of them, so I couldn't try it. And even my prototyping uh, is working, it's not as nice. So also two settings that you might need to look at it here, as you mentioned, you need to rename like the file um, once you have like set up with your own information so the frequencies that you want to use from scratch here and if you want to set up in access point or not and also if you want to active like so captive DNS so here for those that are not familiar basically it's like it's going to do its own wireless network its own Wi-Fi so if you want to do this to have like a um, separate uh, network just for chatting here that's what you want to go for and you must like keep like then the captive DNS because it's going to re rewrite all the DNS query when let's say you want to hit google.com or whatsoever to the gateway that is set up here which is like the sub gigahertz uh, web page and you're going to access right away to the browser okay and basically also here if you don't want you could configure to make this bridge connect to your own wi-fi okay so after all, uh, everything is pretty uh, straightforward. You have a chat module and that's it. I'm going to show you um, how it looks like at my side. As we've seen what is now running into the ESP32, we could see like the setup, it's pretty simple. So there is an ESP32 in access point mode. So I'm going to show you, I have a laptop that is connected to that device in Wi-Fi okay so it is like not connected to the internet there is only like the captive portal that is like redirecting everything to the web server here and we have the WC1101 module okay so which is like communicating with this flipper um, zero and I'm communicating with this Flipper Zero and this laptop which is used for recording the video via the Flipper Zero CLI. I have experienced issue with the recording of this conclusion and demonstration so hopefully the audio quality is still okay and there is not 
much delay so I'm voicing over this whole part of the video here on the left part of the screen you have like the web GUI page of Brian Bridge and here it's really interesting because it's already starting up with like the 433 megahertz so by default it's starting something here and I've noticed with my module uh, I have an offset somehow so I'm going to define here with like the slash freq space 433 megahertz so the frequency I want to chat on okay on the right part of the screen I'm going to use the CLI connected to the flipper zero and the sub gigahertz uh, space chat command and I'm going to set up like the 433 megahertz with 75 hertz in addition as an offset because somehow I was not able like to made any discussion prior and that did the trick no I don't know if it's like okay please let me know in the description what could be the cause I will be really interested here I'm going to type hello on like the flipper chat web page and you won't hear but the flipper zero is going to do like a dolphin noise with like the vibrator which kind of um, quaking or something like it's uh, funny so here we have like a scene that we are able also to chat with like a bridge made of like a ESP32 and the sub gigahertz uh, module it is really interesting and I would say in comparison of like the Mestastic which is like using LoRa here Brian have achieved the similar possibilities we could like chat with Flipper Zero owners in I would say maybe a limited range but a known one and that is really interesting because let's say you don't have like phone reception where you are and you still want to be able like to chat that's a solution so thank him for his like great work and ID here and if you like this type of content please stay tuned to the channel and subscribe for the new update thank you for watching bye bye